Hi there, in this video we will learn that how these demand and supply functions and other economic functions developed. So for that we are going to use the software's data. Before we do that we have to understand uh, a statistical tool which is known as regression. So let's get into the details of it. Primarily what we do is that we get some data and that existing data can help us to establish the relationship between a dependent and an independent variable. So for example, if I want to develop the demand function, I can do this. This is the standard form of a demand function where quantity demanded is the dependent variable, alpha is the intercept, beta is the slope, and p is the price, that is the independent variable. And this is the error term which shows the remaining variables that have effect on the quantity demanded which can include price of related goods which can include income taste weather location so this is that grab bag that contains all other variables that can affect quantity demanded supply function can also be developed by using this tool and software and this is the standard form of the supply function and here again the error term exists in addition to the price and the slope and the intercept and then we have this uh, cost function. Cost function has a cubic specification. The degree of the equation is 3. So this can also be developed by using the regression tool and the software's data, among other softwares as well. So the uh, initial inquiry can be uh, by subjecting the existing data to the regression analysis. And regression basically is the mean line on a scatter plot mean line will be showing the mean values of the scatter plot that can be developed if we have various observations of the dependent and independent variables we call it regression because it is composed of two words and uh, this is the prefix which means back repeat or back and gress means the way or the root so it is basically based on the previous track or the previous root and we are using the existing data on the basis of which we can look ahead and develop some sort of relationship. So it is regression based upon the existing data. Now how we can do this uh, and how we can judge the strength of the regression or the outcome of the regression. Uh, basically there is an uh, there is a, in, a, an indicator or the statistic which is known as R square and this R square has a certain range of value it can be between 0 and 1 0 means no relation and 1 or uh, close to 1 means strongest relationships this is basically uh, a simplified layman sort of introduction to regression and its application so for the details or the background calculations a more specific tutorial of uh, regression can be resorted so this is the range and definitely we will wish that the final result is closer to r square uh, 1 then the r square shows that the ratio of these two is high now how this r square is calculated the ratio of the explained variation with the total variation uh, these are all, uh, both of these are basically deviation, this is variation or deviation, but this is explained version, this is total version, total variation in the dependent variable, and this is the explained variation in the dependent variable. The explained variation is due to the variable that we have included, the independent variable. The more relevant independent variables we include, the more will be the value of R square. So in the diagrammatical way, we can understand that this is the value of the mean of y. This is the estimated y value that we have estimated by using the regression technique. And this is the actual value. So the difference of the mean value and the estimated value is this. This basically shows the regression component or the explained deviation or explained variation because we have estimated this value and this is the disparity between the mean value of y and the estimated value of y. And if we compare this estimated, uh, this uh, mean value of y with the 
actual value it shows the total deviation and within this total deviation the part from the estimated y till the actual y is the unexplained deviation which includes the other variables that are not explicitly in, involved in the regression this is the residual value something which is left after including the regression variables that is the regressors or independent variables so if we divide the explained variation with the total variation we will get the r square and you can see if i increase this uh, area that is the explained deviation if it expands more then it is going to become close to deviation total deviation which is from this point to that point so the greater this area the greater will be the value of the r square now the, the various possibilities of r square if this is equal to 0 that is r square this is a example and they'll have b example as well then c and d examples so this a stands for the serial and you can see that this scatter plot is between x and y variable y variable is the dependent variable x is the independent variable and this spread is uh, even which means that it doesn't have any trend and uh, if you try to draw a trend line that shows the overall trend then it is a horizontal line which means that y will not change no matter how we change the value of x that is from left to right the value of y will remain the same it means that there is no relationship in case of this regression the r square is equal to zero then we consider a slightly higher value of r square if it is equal to 0.2 then uh, we can see that the scatter plot is giving us a certain pattern and it shows a kind of positively sloped trend so the line the trend line is basically a positively sloped line now if this spread becomes uh, a, a little shrunk then you can see the um, trend is again the positively sloped line but the r square will increase because now the concentration is starting to happen which means that we are getting close to the mean line and the Prussian is increasing or the explanation is increasing that is the explained variation now if you further increase the r square that is 2.6 from the value of 0.4 you can see the scatter plot is now starting to shrink further and it is getting closer to the mean line which means that the relationship is even stronger further increasing the value of r square to 0.8 we will get uh, this sort of diagram again uh, the uh, spread is very less and it means that the relationship has become stronger finally the value of r is equal to 1 it means that the spread is not there all the points of the scatter plot are on the mean line so there is no deviation so it is a perfect relationship definitely in real life there there are um, very very much uh, rare examples of uh, such an r scare because in real life only one variable cannot explain the dependent variable and there are other variables that get omitted and in get included in the uh, unexplained variation causing a decline in the r square so now we have compared various values of r square now we can come to the specific uh, situation where we are going to develop the supply and demand functions by using stata we are going to do four things here we can do even more things but for the sake of uh, keeping the things short and simple we are going to estimate the demand function primarily then we will graph it and then we will estimate the supply function and then we are going to graph it so now we will move to the window of stata here you can see now we are in the window of stata this is the variable span in which we have price demand and the price for the supply function and this is the supply variable now we can go to the data window to see the data here we are this is the data window price the demand the price for supply function and the supply variable for the supply function now we come back to the estimation part 
So the first step that I will do here is to run the regression between the dependent variable of demand and the independent variable of price. Once I enter after writing the command, this will be the result. This is the regression output. There are a few statistics that we will not go into the details of. We can all we can talk about the number of observations. There are 10 observations in this. F statistic it is uh, having this value 20.94. Its probability value is less than 0 0.01, that is 1%. So it is statistically significant, showing that the overall model is a good fit. And uh, R square is also there. Um, and this is uh, 0 0.72, which means that 72% of the variation is explained by using the variable that we have included, that is price. Adjusted R square is a refined version of R square. Uh, but right now we can focus on the R square and this is the coefficient and this is the constant as we saw in the standard form of the demand curve there was one intercept which is represented with the constant here it is 16.72 and the coefficient was there and it has a negative sign show, showing the negative slope another important statistic it is here the probability value uh, the constant it is statistically significant more importantly the variable coefficient is statistically significant at 1% level of significance because it is less than 0 0.01 so both of these statistics they are desirable so we can use this as the constant or the intercept of the demand function and this as the slope of the demand function so you see that we have written the demand function. This is the intercept, this is the slope, and this is the error term. So this is a more simplified version, expanding this uh, plus sign and bringing it inside. So this is the more refined version. This is the econometric model of the demand function. And this is the mathematical model of the demand function, dispelling the error term, which will make this a mathematical function. So now we will graph this uh, demand function by using this command. Let us go to the Stata window. So here we are in the Stata window. We'll write this command. It suggests that graph a, gra uh, a you know a relationship and it's a two-way relationship in which we will fit a curve between D and P and we will also make a scatter plot between D and P. So in addition to a scatter plot, we will also get a trend line in this. And let us see that how it can be done simply by pressing the enter button after typing this command, we will get this result. And you can see that it is a very meaningful graph as it is representing the two variables, the relationship, the scatter plot is also there and it's having a negative slope. And this is that uh, fitted line, the mean line, the regression line that we were able to develop by using this command. So now we will go towards the supply function. So we have written this command regression where S is the dependent function, PR is the independent variable and pressing enter we will get the results. Again the, the, the number of observations are the same. The F statistic is statistically significant. The value of probability is less than 0.01. R square is 0.6903 that is 69.03% of the total variation is explained by using the price variable and if you look at the constant it is a negative intercept which is desirable and meaningful in our supply function because it gives us the reservation price the minimum price at which the supplier is willing to sell the first unit of commodity it is statistically significant because it is less than 0 0.05 that is five percent so it is statistically significant at 5% level of significance and uh, the slope is there as well which is positive shows that when the price increases the supply will also increase it is statistically significant 
so that is a desirable situation now we can uh, use these two values to develop the supply function so here we have substituted the value of intercept and the slope here in a more readable way and this will become a mathematical function because we have dispelled the value of the error term so the econometric model of supply function and the mathematical model of the supply functions uh, finally we have the graph of the supply function by using this command we are going to make it so here we are we have written the command and now we will press the enter button and we will get the supply function you can see that the scatter plot is also there these dots they show the scatter points and the trend line or the mean line is also there so we have a positively sloped uh, supply function which is developed by using this graph and if we extend this line here at this point if we extend x-axis the value will be minus 10 so somewhere here if I extend this line here it will cut the x-axis at this point somewhere there where the value of the intercept will be minus 10 so that gives us the reservation price and now we are capable of making a demand and supply function by using this data so now we sum up the things this was data commands and the outputs graphs were also shown and this is how we can develop demand supply functions simply by using the existing data so we can do this on our own develop the supply and demand functions because in the background there is this tool of regression and in regression these are various possibilities of a strong relationship and a weak or no relationship diagrammatically speaking it looks like this when we develop a regression line this is the formula of r square showing a vital element of a regression and we call it regression for a certain reason which is explained here these are various functions that we can develop by using the tool of regression and the software's data.